Regards people, today I'm going to be introducing you to my three Raspberry Pi 4 computers that I've got. They've got different uses and jobs and basically each fulfills its purpose brilliantly. The first of the three that I want to show you is this one which is my games machine it's got a SSD on the bottom there an M2 which it boots from when it's not got a micro SD card inserted it will load straight from that via the USB I updated the firmware in order to make it do that very straightforward um, this has got a 256 gig hard drive uh, and basically as I say it's used as a games machine it's got an OS on it but I don't dabble too much with that I generally insert the SD cards and have a menu of software appear um, and then just play games basically so this is a gaming machine that's why it's got the big heat sink um, it runs overclocked on a few of the emulations that I put through it and uh, this helps deal with the heat it generated so yeah that's the first one quite a nice little unit and uh, good fun right the second one I want to show you is in an Aragon 1 case and here it is I've garnished it a bit I like a little bit of decoration um, the beauty of the Aragon 1 case is that it puts everything at the back all the leads and wires face away from the machine so it keeps it looking a little bit tidier it reroutes the audio in the HDMI and power supply that would normally be sticking out the side um, the case itself is very good it's got active and passive calling. When you have Raspbian OS installed, you can put some script files in that operate the power supply inside to actually shut down the machine properly, um, to activate the fan, make it spin up when it hits a certain temperature, and uh, shut off again when it cools down it's also got passive calling uh, the case itself is attached to the processor and memory um, and acts as a dissipating heatsink so it does run quite hot this one it's an 8 gig model but uh, so far it's been fine absolutely brilliant I use this one for operating systems I've got several systems that I use with it just to learn Linux and educate myself further um, I use Manjaro Gen 2 and Ubuntu Mate they're all 64 bit and address all of the memory I've also got a couple of 32 bit OS's I use as well okay and the final one I want to show you I'll do videos on all of these later in action is this one now this is cased with a touch screen um, it's a mobile solution basically I use it um, you know I use it as a jailbreaking box for my iPad I've got an iPad, it's jailbroken, but if the power runs out or if it resets, um, it loses its jailbreak and then I have to bring it back home and connect it to the main machine in order to reinstate that jailbreak. Well, this takes away the need for the main machine. I no longer need a Macintosh. I can use this little box, plug it in on a battery, connect it to the iOS device and it automatically jailbreaks it and powers down brilliant 
so this is a good solution for giving me mobility out in the field if I'm over a friend's house for example and I've taken my iPad with me to do some work um, and I lose the jailbreak I can reinstate it quite quickly and easily and uh, carry on so that's that one's function it has got an OS on it and it has got well it's got Pyrain and Checkrain installed Pyrain is an automatic that automates the jailbreaking service and uh, assists with the shutdown it's great as I say I'll demonstrate all of these in later videos but because they're so different and their uses are so different I figured I'll just give you this introduction for now okay so that's it that's the three boxes all the three the three uh, machines um, yeah we'll have some future videos coming up and I'll demonstrate them and show you what they're about alright then take it easy till next time ta-da